Welcome to Electron Line, and now let's see if we learned how to deal with orders and how they affect reaction time. So let's say we have an equation. We have 2 of A and 3 of B required to form 2 of C. So these are the reactants, that's the products. And so let's say that the rate for this particular reaction is K times the concentration of A times the concentration of B squared. So what is the order in this case? So even though we don't write it, this is a to the first power, so we add up the exponents. So order is equal to 1 plus 2, which is 3. So then we call that a third order reaction, or an order 3 reaction. And uh, on the next one here, we have uh, a nitric oxide, and we have ozone combined to form nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas. And so in this particular case, the rate is equal to K times the concentration of nitric oxide and ozone. And so what is the order in that case? Well, even though we don't write it, we have a 1 and a 1 there. So this is equal to 1 plus 1 equals 2. So that's how we determine the order. And remember that the order has really nothing to do with the coefficients in front of the reactants and the products. Okay, now let's say that we have an equation whose rate is equal to K times the concentration of A times the concentration of B squared. And the concentration of B is doubled. How does it affect the rate the reaction rate of that reaction. All right, what we do then here is to say that the new rate, so the rate nu is equal to, now since we took the concentration of B and doubled it, we then write a 2 for the doubling. And since the concentration of B is squared, it has order 2, we have to square that number, and so we get 4, which means the reaction rate will be 4 times as high. All right, here's the second reaction. In this case, the rate is equal to K times the concentration of A squared and the concentration of B cubed. In this case, we're going to half the concentration of A, so we have half as much. And for B, we're going to double the concentration of B. What is now the new rate? Well, in this case, the rate new. And actually, I may have misled you a little bit, this is in reference to the number of times it's the old rate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this so I don't confuse you. So the rate nu is equal to, again, we did the doubling. So we take 2 raised to the second power times the old rate. That's what I should have said. So this is equal to 4 times the old rate, or rates of old, if you want to write it like that. OK. That's what I should have written, and just to make it more clear. What we're doing here is that the new rate is simply four times the old rate, what it was before when we didn't double the concentration of B. All right, now in this case, so we're going to have a new rate, and the new rate is going to be equal to, since we have the concentration of A, we use the one-half, and the order of A is two, so it would be one-half to the second power times and we doubled the concentration of B, so we put a 2 there. And B is cubed, so it's 2 cubed. And so that would be times the old rate. And then we go 1 half squared is 1 quarter. 2 cubed is 8. 8 times a quarter would be twice, so 2 times the old rate. And that's how you do that. Simply find out how the concentration has changed. Then look at the order, and then take that number, how it's changed, it's doubled, it's halved, it's tripled, whatever it is, and then raise that to the exponent, the order of that uh, particular reactant, and that's how you find the new rate. That's how you do that.